Hey guys, so I um, literally pray to God that he gives me the strength to be able to say what I need to say without um, crying the whole time. But I do realize I have been trending today and um, things have been said about me um, to all my true supporters and followers. I honestly feel like you guys know the core and the essence of what I am, so I would be doing myself a disservice by not saying something. I think probably what I did wrong in the past is brush all of this under the carpet and not say anything, just because I don't like drama. I'm a peaceful person. I prefer to focus on my own things, but um, I'm different. I've grown, and um, I think I'm a, a really strong woman, and I believe other women should never ever 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 let another man um step on the name you've built so um you've worked so hard to build so i'd like to address um things that were said about me by milema morahanye jup jup on mac g's show as well as mac g okay so there's three things that i mainly want to address the first was saying that um he smashed me first of all milema um you raped me. <laughs> I was raped for two years solidly. Um, so please don't make it sound like it was a relationship. I was absolutely afraid to leave. Um, afraid of the power that your mother had be in being... <laughs> around you at the time um i was aware of um the stifling and, and 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 sifting of money your mother was doing with oprah so um and also what you guys did in terms of muti and medicine which you made me believe um my life would be a danger if i spoke up so um no you didn't smash me you you forcefully opened my legs and and forced yourself um on me numerous times for two years and made me believe I had no way out. Um, in that time, I had an abortion, of course, because there was absolutely no way I would have a child that was forcefully given to me. And the most painful part about all of this is that I was a virgin. And I told him at the time, I had told Jup Jup that I was a virgin and I planned to be a virgin until the day I got married. And, um, the first time he raped me, the next morning, I um, had been trying to get hold of my friend the whole night who lives in my building. But the next morning when he eventually did open the door, and he can be a testimony to this, is Richard Lukunku, you know, I came to you because I didn't know what to do. And I, and I came to you crying for help. Um, I was afraid, so, so afraid. And I'm telling this story because, you know what, I genuinely believe that God... God allows certain things to happen. Your journey or the, the burdens that you face or the things that you go through, they happen for a reason, guys. And I, I, I genuinely believe this burst or this thing that's happened is for me to empower other women to let them know to one, never accept emotional abuse and, um, and rape the way that I did for two years straight. Um, and also if it has happened to you, turn your life into something really, really strong and powerful, which I have done. And I've really tried to mind my own business. But what I will not stand for is for you to degrade my name. I don't understand why you have an interview and you have to speak about me. You are at such a low point in your life that you should actually be spending your time um, apologizing for the, uh, for the children that you killed because you were high. Instead, you are trying to bring my name that I've worked so hard to build the success that I have, okay? Uh, the, the woman that you knew back then, she doesn't exist, okay? I'm no longer afraid. You cannot bring me down, break me apart. Yes, you may have raped me for two years solidly. And, and, and I want people to know the criminal that you really are. I really wish, you know, that you served a longer jail time, that you were still in prison. Um, you know, just to describe, I, I've actually never spoken about this. I've never even opened about, I've told my husband in bits and pieces of, of this time in my life because I think I actually blocked it out because it was so traumatic to me. But he would do things like wait for there to be people to rape me because it got boring just to rape me plain and at home. I remember the one time I had my siblings visiting 
from school and he would do it while they were around in the same room so that I wouldn't scream you know um, I want people to know the kind of person that I dealt with God, this is so not on brand what the you know um, so I will not allow my name to be dragged in the dirt <laughs> and to have some man speak about me like you're so smooth you managed to smash me you didn't smash me you raped me you raped me and I was still a good enough person and I never ever ever spoke about it I focused on my own and carried on with my own life but what I will not do is let you destroy my name I wrote a few notes so that I don't forget everything <laughs> And the other thing that you said is I left you because uh, I saw a picture with Kelly. I just want people to know that I left because he tried to kill me. He suffocated me. He literally suffocated me. And um, I remember that day so vividly. It, it, it was like... Um, I prayed to God for the strength to, to um, kick him off, when, which I did. He had locked all the doors. He would lock me in the house sometimes, take my car, um, monitor my movements. I was in varsity at the time. Um, I would not always be allowed to have my own car. I would not be allowed certain friends. <laughs> my friend Lusanda who was the only friend who was allowed in my life at the time. Lou, you know what happened to me? You've seen it happen over all those years. So, um, it's not true. I, I, I didn't leave because I saw a picture. I left because he tried to kill me. And I've always been, I was always afraid to leave because of the threats that were made. But at that moment where... He tried to kill me. I knew that the very thing I was afraid of, which was dying, I knew was meant to happen that day. So I actually got away. Uh, and when I got away, I went to the police station to try and open uh, a case of abuse and rape and attempted murder. And um, the police officer said to me to go home and think about my decision because she is so sick and tired of women coming to report their boyfriends and husbands only, only having to take them back after all the abuse. So I really, I just wish I had more information about how to get out and, and how to deal with rape and and what it is that um, you should do when it happens to you. But I, in the beginning stages when it happened to me, I would reach out to my friends and they didn't do anything. One of my friends still today still calls me and says he regrets not helping me. I mean, the first time it happened, he literally gave me a Christian book to read and we prayed. But that's what I did. Um, so, whew, trying to find my strength. <laughs> Anyway, so that was the real reason I, I, I left. Uh, I left because my life was in danger. And I tried to open a court case. Uh, I mean, I tried to open a case against him and um, our police system failed me. The lady sent me home because she says that women always go back to gender-based violence. I don't speak about these things publicly, but if you know me and you follow me, you will know that with my skincare business, during Women's Month, we donated money to future females to help build homes for gender-based violence for women. For women who have been victims to gender-based violence, this is a cause I am extremely passionate about. And it's enough. My name will not be destroyed by a man ever again. But the other thing that I would like to address, sorry, my phone cut, um, is saying that I uh, specifically came to visit uh, Mulemo um, in prison <laughs> on some personal visit. All right, so DJ Spoo, actually, I do a lot of charitable work, charity work. DJ Spoo called me 
unsaid. Um, would I be keen to do some charity work? There are some um, prisoners in the cells who have decided to change their lives around, who have been studying and they're having a graduation. Uh, a graduation. So um, I actually went there for a charity event. I had no idea that Mulemo was one of the criminals locked up in that very prison. I had no idea he would be there. I had no idea there would be media there. I went there for a charity event and in fear, I panicked. Um, he asked for a photo. I took the photo and did my best to smile. But I did not go there to visit him. So speaking in public, telling people that I came there to come and have a, a personal visit is not true. Um, the other thing I want to say is one of his close friends had reached out to me because there was a funeral and he said to me, Amanda, hey, we haven't heard from you in a long time. You know, what happened to you? And I said, well, you know, to be blatantly honest, your friend has been raping me. I endured rape for two years, so I don't ever want to see him again. And he said, why didn't you say something? Because we've had so many out of court settlements for him doing similar things to different women. So, Mac G, Mulemo, Marohanyo, Jubjub, both of you, for the fact that you, especially Mac G, you find gratification of not ver verifying facts for your own personal gain and financial standing when you are, could potentially be destroying people emotionally, not knowing what they have been through. I urge any woman who have been abused, raped, by both Magji or, or Mulemo to come forward and kill Kumala. I just want to say, I believe you. And I think you're an incredible mom. I don't need to know the details because I endured the trauma myself. And I know you probably fought to be alive too. So you know, any woman who endured any abuse from Mac G, from Lemo Jup Jup, because I genuinely believe that it takes an abuser and someone who condones gender-based violence to have been able to conduct an interview like this and to speak of women in such a manner. It is 2021, guys. It is not okay anymore. Okay, we may have accepted your abuse before our parents and grandmothers before us may have accepted it, but this stops here. Okay, I am the example. If there's any of those women who have been abused by these men, I urge you to please DM me, come forward, and we will fight them together because I'm not afraid anymore. Okay, and evidently they're using my name in their interviews for relevance because I'm quietly focusing on my career. <laughs> which is very successful at that God has been so so good and gracious to me. But I also believe that God would have not allowed these things to happen to me if there wasn't a purpose and a reason for it. Okay. So if you've gone through this by these men, please reach out to me and we'll fight them. We have a very big problem of gender-based violence in this country. Um, and I think that the change will only start if we start to speak up. Um, it needs to stop guys it's not okay and um, you need to know that if you have been a victim of this and this has happened to you you have not done anything wrong um, and it is absolutely okay to stand up for yourself um, and it doesn't matter what anybody thinks and don't worry um, my biggest thing uh, was would people believe me and that was my biggest thing um, and the second thing was, would it affect my work? You know, as a female, I genuinely believe we're always fighting double time against um, the opportunities that men have. So I didn't want to create any problems for myself. I just wanted to make sure that I was successful at all costs. And um, although that's what I may have wanted, I realized that putting this... I literally stored this under a rug and I hoped that I would forget about it, but I, n I never dealt with it. And um, <laughs> listening to, to a podcast like that, uh, having it played back to me, I cannot believe that somebody would fabricate that amount of lies. Um, Malemo, I don't know 
uh, obviously I know why this is for clout you, you he has my attention you wanted my attention you got it but this time you're getting my attention and I'm fighting for every single person who has been abused harassed and raped it stops here it stops now you no longer have to accept this and Mac G you will no longer Use a female's name for your financial game. Your publicity of your podcast is not more important than the safety of our women. Okay? The change starts with us. If we don't protect our women, which you two have both done a terrible job at doing, I'm going to change that narrative. Okay? It stops here. It stops now. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself for speaking up about this and, and, and telling my story. For years, I was traumatized. I, I remember little flashbacks of my younger sister and I literally running away from the house because we were afraid. We were afraid of what would happen to us. Um, and now I'm in such a position where I'm empowered, I'm strong, and I know that God is in control. I'm not afraid of you. Um, and it's wrong what you did. You took the virginity of a woman who was saving herself for marriage, not once, but you continuously raped me for two years my spirit almost died i almost died i tried to kill myself twice because of what you did but you know what i'm so grateful i don't regret anything that has happened to me i think i've come out stronger a lot of people ask me how come i'm able to keep going that much more um why it is i'm so resilient um and so strong and i this is it this is the proof um when 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 you've gone through so much and you still choose to overcome like I'm in a place where I'm fearless. I'm not afraid of you, okay? And um, I will take you up to court legally for defamation of court, uh, defamation of character, both MacG and Tup Tup. It is not okay for you to drag my name in the dirt that you guys need to be relevant for whatever reasons in your career, okay? I will meet you in court and any woman who have been harassed, raped and abused by these two men, I have your back. Kelly, this is including you. If you guys needed just a little bit of more support to fight these people, I got you. It stops here. This is rubbish. Okay? The change starts with us and we are the change. I love you guys so much. Um, really. All, all of you that have been such a, 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 an important part of my journey and my career. And it's been an amazing opportunity to grow with you and i think it's important that i share this with you so yeah i'm standing for change and i i will fight this and you will not drag my name that i've worked so hard to build 